Tesla was planning to display some of its most rare and historic vehicles in a new exhibit at the Peterson Automotive Museum in Los Angeles. The Inside Tesla exhibit opened to the public on November the 20th in the Mullen Family Grand Salon and the Philippe Seraphim Port Cochere on the first floor. Following the announcement of a new Inside Tesla exhibit that highlights the company's pioneering journey into electric vehicles, the museum finally revealed which of the automaker's vehicles were on display for fans and foes alike to gawk at. Welcome to Tech Heaven, and in this video we'll take a look at everything you need to know about Tesla's rarest vehicles displayed at the new Peterson exhibit. Some of Tesla's most unique vehicles were on display at the Peterson Museum, ranging from the company's early days to some of the most high-performance powertrains it has ever tested or brought to the market. The exhibit included a one-of-a-kind display of company accolades, early projects and ongoing teases of vehicles Tesla has tried but failed to bring to market in recent years. While many Tesla fans and enthusiasts have probably seen the original Tesla Roadster, a proper Tesla history exhibit would be incomplete without it. The Roadster is a symbolic car that encapsulates the company's darkest days, a far cry from today when the automaker is financially secure. It would either sink or swim Tesla. Fortunately, it was the lifeline Musk and the other early executives required. Among the other Roadsters on display at the museum were the 2005 Roadster prototype, which dates back to Tesla's first projects and forays into electric vehicles. The 2020 next-generation Roadster was also on display. Despite this exciting development, the presence of this particular vehicle stung a few Peterson visitors when the exhibit opened. The Roadster was scheduled to make its debut in 2020. The second generation of Tesla's first vehicle has been plagued by setbacks due to battery constraints and other challenges, including Tesla's mass-market Model 3 and Model Y ramping. Simply put, Tesla has a lot of projects in the works, and the Roadster isn't the most important component of the company's goal of hastening the transition to sustainable energy. Tesla and Musk have been relatively quiet about Roadster production, with Musk's most recent update coming in early 2021 during an appearance on the Joe Rogan Experience podcast. Musk expressed his desire for the Roadster to be equipped with cold gas SpaceX thrusters capable of hovering the vehicle and providing an insanely fast 1.1 seconds 0 to 60 acceleration rate and white knuckle performance. There hasn't been a set timetable for Tesla to release the Roadster due to production and supply chain constraints. Musk, on the other hand, tweeted that Roadster could finally arrive in 2023, as long as 2022 does not present massive production bottlenecks. Assuming there is no major drama in 2022, Musk said, the new Roadster should ship in 2023. The supply chain shortages that have afflicted much of the automotive industry have not harmed Tesla as much as they have other automakers. Tesla detailed its ability to develop 19 in-house microcontrollers, which aided the company in avoiding a massive semiconductor chip shortage. This advancement has assisted Tesla in avoiding lengthy production outages, maintaining assembly lines and increasing delivery and production figures through a turbulent 2022. Many Tesla fans, particularly those who earned the vehicle through the company's referral program, have been eagerly awaiting the Roadster. With a 0 to 60 mile per hour acceleration time of 1.9 seconds, the vehicle is sure to turn heads. If Tesla is able to make the vehicle hover as planned, the company could be looking at one of the most revolutionary automotive inventions ever, though Musk has stated that the vehicle's ability to fly will be limited. Regardless of its unconfirmed capabilities, Musk's calculations indicate that the long-awaited Roadster could arrive in less than two years. By the way, if you're watching us for the first time, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can enjoy our future videos while getting updated. Getting back to the topic? The museum's Tesla exhibit also included Tesla's 1 millionth vehicle, a multi-coat red Model Y. The 1 millionth Model Y, built in March 2020, was a symbolic piece of history for Tesla, which has struggled and fought for several years to become profitable. After launching the Model Y in the United States in 2020, it was only natural that the Model Y would be the millionth vehicle Tesla produced. Surprisingly, the company only began producing hundreds of thousands of cars a few quarters later, as the COVID-19 pandemic raged on. The Peterson exhibit also featured the Model S Plaid that ripped around Germany's Nürburgring. 
The Cyberquad for adults is another Tesla project that was very exciting, but has not received any updates since 2019. Tesla was testing three Model S plate models in total. One in deep blue metallic with an active spoiler, one in red multi-coat and one in solid black. The red and black Model S plates spotted at the track lacked an active spoiler. Furthermore, the blue and red Model S plate units were outfitted with drilled brakes, allowing for harder and faster braking, as befitting a performance vehicle. Tesla is most likely comparing the Model S plates to see which modifications provide the most improvements in speed, braking, downforce and aerodynamics. This will provide Tesla with the most accurate data for determining which settings will result in the fastest car. After the kids version was removed from the market recently because an adult attempted to ride it with a child, ruining the fun for everyone, the adult version of the quad is all that some of us can hope for. The Cyberquad was added to the 2019 Cybertruck unveiling event and was a potential addition with the truck's purchase. The Cyberquad, like the Cybertruck, has not yet been released or built for the general public. The 2019 version of the Cybertruck will not be the one delivered to customers when it is finally built next year, but it has an interesting backstory. In November 2019, Tesla unveiled the Cybertruck in Hawthorne, California, which was an unusual event. Nothing went as planned, as the unbreakable Cybertruck windows broke, the truck's design is ultimately not what Tesla will deliver to customers and everything has changed from pricing to powertrains. The all-black ATV came as a surprise, as Musk was about to walk off the stage to conclude the presentation before revealing that Tesla had decided to build a four-wheeler. The ATV was driven onto the stage by a rider before being loaded onto the newly unveiled pickup truck. The rider maneuvered the Cybertruck onto the pickup, showcasing the truck's adaptive suspension, and plugged it into a charging outlet located above the truck's right rear tire as the bed cover slid up, revealing the 6.5 foot space. ATVs have long been a popular mode of transportation for those who enjoy outdoor activities. They are, however, propelled by gasoline and petroleum based products. There are very few electric ATVs on the market, and they are all designed to teach children how to operate them in a safe manner. The Stealth Electric ATV is currently the only full electric ATV on the market, with a 4 kW motor and 72 volts of power, giving it a range of 35 to 38 miles and a top speed of 35 miles per hour. While Tesla stated that the new Cybertruck will be useful for off-road use, the ATV will complement the use of the new electric pickup outdoors. The ability to charge the ATV from the truck's bed provides convenience because owners will not have to transport gasoline to the right side. Tesla also displayed its Model 3 and Model X original prototypes that everyone expected. These original Model 3 and Model X designs are not dissimilar to what is still available today. These vehicles are significant to Tesla's story for different reasons and as an important part of the company's history. It's nice to see them on display for Tesla fans. And with that being said, it's time to end our video, but before that would like to know whether you visited the new Peterson exhibit. Let us know in the comments. Like this video and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos like this. We'll see you in the next video.